welcome back to my channel i'm miss lauren lee 11 and today i'm going to be showing you how to grow hair fast using this camera regimen or regime or however you want to say it so i've got my lovely sister with me today Haley, my older sister and she's going to be my hair model today now she thought her hair was damaged which it is not maybe i think she thought it was damaged because maybe she's colored it and she hasn't done as many protein treatments so this is what we miss out in this family guys we're missing out on the protein treatments <laughs> and the moisture so she's done a protein treatment she's deep conditioned her hair so today i'm just gonna get it moisturized for her put it in a cane row style and get her into a regimen where she can just moisturize cane row moisturize cane row keep her hair healthy keep it growing keep that length retention her hair grows anyway it's just the length retention so i'm going to be showing you how i detangle her hair uh the heat protect that i use on her hair because i will be blow drying her hair just slightly um just to get a bit more stretch to do this style and then I'm going to be showing you the products that I use to lay her hair and I'm going to be using a bit of an extension here as well. So guys, if you want to see how to get this regimen going and get this routine going, if you don't want to keep your hands in your hair all the time, you just want to leave your hair alone during the week, then carry on watching. Oh, that was a mouthful. <laughs> so guys, I'm just going to detangle and separate my sister's hair. You can see it's not actually knotted, it's just slightly tangled at the roots. So I'm just separating right now. Okay, and it's easier to work in sections. So what I'm gonna do is section her hair and detangle with moisture and a detangling brush, just so the hair is smooth and an easy base to work on. First, I'm going to take my Dr. Miracle's Thermal Heat Protectant because I'm going to blow dry her hair just to stretch it, just so her hair is a lot easier to work with. And I'm going to spread that through the sections just to make sure she doesn't get any heat damage or any breakage. As you can see, I'm detangling the ends. But I need a bit more moisture, so I'm going to go ahead with my As I Am Restore and Repair Castor Oil Water. And then I'm just going to spritz that all throughout the section of her hair. And there you go, as you can see, it makes it a lot more manageable for me to detangle. Now we've got that moisture in, for the length retention, we're gonna to need to seal in that moisture. So I'm gonna use my Dax pomade, and I'm just gonna smooth that all throughout the section of her hair, just to make sure it seals in any moisture. And again, I'm just smoothing at the roots with a brush, just to make sure the product's smoothed evenly. And I'm gonna go back and make sure her hair is completely detangled. And once I've detangled her hair, I'm just going to twist it up just to keep that section out of the way. So it's pretty self-explanatory at this point. I repeat the process throughout the lengths of her hair. And then once I've twisted it up, I will be moving on to the next stage.
So now I'm going to show you why I kept her hair twisted up. I'm moving on to the next stage, which was blow drying. So as you can see, I've blow dried midway down her hair. I've left her roots quite curly because I just didn't want to disturb her hair or cause any breakage as her hair can be quite fragile due to the colouring that she has in her hair. I decided to blow dry her hair off camera just because it's a long process, guys. I have got videos on how to blow dry also, so I just left that part out. So now I'm going to show you the piece de resistance, the, <laughs> the magic edge wax. And this is what I use that pulls the style together. It keeps the hair looking sleek, it makes her roots look nice and sleek, and it just overall gives the style a long lasting hold. So here I'm just showing you that I'm running the edge wax down her partings just to make sure it looks super neat. As you can see, the line looks very sharp. So now guys, I'm just going to add some extension hair in that my sister bought. Um, I will put the details of the hair down in the description box, but this is just to add length to this style because it makes it look cute. I mean, it's nothing wrong with having shorter style, but she, her preference was she wanted longer hair in this style, so that's why I'm adding the hair extensions in. Also guys, if you do feel that I'm going a bit too fast with the cane rows, there's a reason for that. I do have a dedicated videos on how to learn how to do cane rows for beginners, so or corn rows. <laughs> so you can watch that if you like, if I am going too fast for you. But if you know how to corn row, you get the gist of what I'm doing. So now guys, I'm just feeding in the braid hair. I am not the best at feeding in hair guys, but I'm gonna try and make this look good. And in the end, I do make it look nice. <laughs> Let's put it that way. But I'm not the best at this guy. So 
you know. Again, the style is pretty self-explanatory, guys, so I decide to do the rest of camera and come back to you whilst I'm going to, I suppose, dip the ends in hot water. So you have to be very careful at this bit, guys. This just seals the hair, basically, and makes the hair less stiff. It gives it more movement. But you have to be very, very careful, guys. So as you can see, I'm dipping it into the hot jug of water. And now I'm going to squeeze out the excess hot water with a towel. Just try and make sure it doesn't touch your client because I don't think they'll be very happy about that. <laughs> There you go, I'm squeezing all the excess out, guys. So as you can see now, the hair is no longer stiff, it's got movement and it's more natural looking. So guys, this is the overall look. I'm quite happy with it. It looks very neat and very nice. The middle parting is not as straight as I wanted it to be, but overall, I think I've done a pretty good job. What do you think? So guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any comments or questions, leave them down below the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.